Bayon Temple is the heart of Angkor Thom city. This temple just located in the middle of the 45 compound. Only 1.5 kilometers from each five gates and three kilometers to the north of Angkor Wat Temple. The temple was constructed by the greatest Khmer king, Jayavarman VII. The king built this classic temple from the end of the 12th century to the beginning of the 13th century. Just after the king crowned the throne in 1181. Dedicated to the principal god of Tantric Buddhism, Bodhisattva Avalokiteshvara or Lokeshvara, as well as to unify the two religion followers together. Hindu and Buddhist and they could live together under a single ruler. After the Khmer Empire took over by the adversary charm. The King Jayavarman was a great warrior, an architect. He had built many temples, infrastructures like roads, hospitals, and rest houses throughout his kingdom. Moreover, the king had abolished the caste system that was a huge bar between the rich and the poor. In his reign, the populace lived in equality. They had peace, harmony, and prosperity. The king loved his people very much. According to the inscription says, the sickness and grief of the populace is his. The layout of this structure is almost square. The first gallery wall measures 156 meters by 141 meters. On the outer wall is occupied with hieroglyphs depict about the everyday life of Khmer people and battle scenes. It is considered as the first level. The second level is in octagonal, measures about 80 meters by 70 meters, also arranged with gallery and slightly offset. In this gallery, we have many chambers and vestibules. On the wall of each one, we also have carvings that depict about Hindu myth, legend, and mundane scenes. The third level is the uppermost, shaped in round god diameter for 25 meters. A risen and prominent tower in the center measuring for 43 meters high about the crown level. So this massive temple, if we minimize the scale, we can see its plan shaped like a Shivalong statue which has three levels, 
the first level square represents to Lord Brahma the second one octagonal represents to the Lord Vishnu and the third one round on top represents to Lord Shiva the unique of this fascinating temple is the face towers sculptures and its effectiveness this combined art style temple comprises 54 towers including the other five from the gates dominating the whole arrangement of the galleries terraces on top the cobras the corners and others freestanding on the upper terrace that represents to the length of the lunar faces and the half of the immortal number of hindu 108 representing to the moon and the sun and the gods and the demons nowadays these prominent towers remain only 37 and they are intact after god restoration twice the french archaeologist mr zongo mai 1907 to 1916 and the second time from january 2020 to now by the japanese obviously in each chamber they would have statue of deity because there are pedestals remain as the idols had been defaced and demolished when the religion was switched the inscription says the statue that housed in the central tower was in gold 3.5 meters tall named in sanskrit jaya buddha mohanatha which means the great king jaya Varman was a part or incarnation of god buddha the big smile faces on the towers are probably his likeness frozen in the eternity as the image of the buddha inside the complex we found six libraries one meditation chamber and one water well that consists cool and holy water all year round According to this immense and enigmatic structure, we can make imagination about how brilliant in the administration, faithful to the God and love to the populace of Kumar King in the past. And it reveals about the resilience, devotion, ingenuity of our ancestors. Furthermore, the unity, prosperity, and harmony in their living. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Peng Soon, a tourist guide in Siem Reap region, Cambodia. I would like to say thank you so much for watching my video from the beginning to the end. If you like my video, please kindly subscribe, sum up as a motivation for me, so you can track on my next video, which will be interpreted about the hieroglyphs on the outer wall of the first and the second gallery of Bayon Temple. Thanks again and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.